Today I would like to speak about meal planning. How to make a meal plan that suits individual goals. This can be really confusing, especially for beginners, because there are so many different guidelines out there. For this reason, my first tip is keep it as simple as possible. Just keep it simple, then the chances are the highest that it will really work. Number two, know your goal. Is it weight loss, maintenance or weight gain, meaning mostly muscle gain? Calculate the number of calories you need to consume. Here I would recommend not to use the calculators online, but make a dietary assessment. So track what you eat for two to three days and then calculate the calories and nutrients you consume because the numbers you get online, uh, online are usually means from scientific studies and scientists publish means. This means that for individuals, the individual caloric intake can be more than 500 calories higher or lower than the mean. So the best thing is to know your point where you are at. So after you calculated what you consume, if you have to know if you're losing weight or gaining weight or maintaining at the moment. Then you take this number you're at and if you want to lose weight, just uh, eat 500 calories less. If you want to gain muscle, eat maybe 200 calories more. If you don't see any progress after three to five weeks, you could increase this number by further 200 calories. Um, now in terms of nutrients. For protein, I would suggest to consume at least one gram per pound of body weight or two gram per kilogram of body weight for people on a plant-based diet, especially when they uh, try to lose weight. Uh, if you try to gain weight, you don't have to eat that much protein because you consume a surplus of calories anyway and the chances are lower that your body will use muscle as a fuel. Uh, for fat, it is usually half a gram for a pound of body weight or one gram per kilogram of body weight and the rest that are proteins. Now to the meal planning thing. The simplest thing is just to take the numbers you calculated and divide them into the equal amount of uh, into the equal numbers by the numbers of meals you consume. So you have to know how many meals you eat a day. Um, for post-workout, I would recommend to consume 25 to 30 grams of proteins for beginners and um, 45 to 50 grams for advanced trainees because they need more protein to trigger the same uh, responses for muscle growth. Then, especially for people who try to lose weight, I would recommend to consume protein and fiber-rich veggies at each meal because it keeps you full for longer and will prevent overeating. Fiber-rich veggies, it is everything that is green, leafy greens, celery, broccoli, etc. Um, then make a list of foods that meet your targets per meal. I will explain it at the um, example of protein. For most people on a plant-based diet, it, is, it can be challenging to hit their protein requirements. For this reason, if you would like to consume 25 to 30 grams of protein per meal, you could make a list of food that contains this amount of protein. This would be, for example, 100 grams of dried beans. This was co would correspond to one and a half can of beans. Or uh, 200 grams of firm tofu, or 100 to 150 grams of tempeh, or 100 grams of peanut butter. That is something I wouldn't necessarily recommend on a weight loss diet, but maybe for people who work for gaining muscle. Okay, then after you determined what you actually need per meal, you could cook the food in big batches. For example, beans, you could make a dal or, uh, or legumes in general. You can make a dal, or curry, uh, chili, uh, lentil loaf. I love lentil loaves. Then you portion them into the right sizes, corresponding to the um, portion size of your meal. For example, if I make a, 
lentil loaf of uh, 500 grams of lentils and I want to have 20 to 30 grams of proteins per meal, then I will just cut it in five slices and then I can freeze them individually. And I have them for later when I run out of food during the week. Um, some people will say, okay, it's boring to eat the same every day, but then you can be more creative and use lots of spices. You can change the flavor by using different spices. My favorites are dried onion powder, dried garlic, uh, cumin, smoked paprika, yeah. And another thing is have always a backup with you. So if you run out of food somewhere, if you get stuck at work, to, not to make poor choices, just have a protein bar or maybe some nuts in your bag. So if you get hungry that you don't mess up your diet by eating junk food. Yes, and at the end I would like to say that progress is not just about one day. If you have a goal, it won't happen overnight. It's not super important what you eat at each single meal, but how the 24 hours look like or even how weeks and months look like to see the long-term progress. So especially at the beginning, please don't stress if there's like one meal a day you kind of get lost and mess a bit, a little bit up. Okay, thank you. <laughs>